Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm so excited to play this game. Um, we're just gonna hop right into it. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your, your unique circumstances, the ministry has grac graciously allowed to uh, agreed uh, to allow Professor Elzar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for a start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley. Hmm, a Weasley as a professor. Deputy headmistress, interesting. Tom Holland? The hell is Tom Holland doing in this game? Uh, presets. Okay, but I don't know if I want to use a preset. Uh, I have a controller in right now, but I think I'm going to use the keyboard and mouse to, to, to make my character here. Um. <coughs> oh, glasses. I can have Harry Potter glasses. Um, I mean, I wear glasses. But I think they look better without it. Okay, haircut. For the love of God. Better haircut. Um God, it's like jeez. It's like Harry Potter uh in the Goblet of Fire where literally everybody has long hair for whatever reason. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, there's a nice short haircut. I can change my hair color. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to be... Where's Draco's hair? That hair kind of looks like Newt's. Well, I guess this kind of looks like Newt's hair, too. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much on character creation, because if I do, I will be here for a very long time. <laughs> Alright, we're doing that. And then hair color, we want... Hello? Oh! Ah, that's what I want. I don't want like a... Deeper. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, what's on the spectrum? <gasps> you can have pink hair. God, I would use that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with. Oh, not green. Orange. Red hair. Complexion. Oh. Baby. Freckles and moles, give it to me. Oh, those are moles. Wait, freckles and moles. Totally make me a Ron. Oh, boy. boy. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Do not look at me like that. I have to change your face. Because your face doesn't scream. Oh. That's better. Uh, <laughs> That is actually, that's, that looks better. Okay. 
Now, um, complexion. Whoops. Yes. Yes. Of course. Uh, the eyebrows also needs to change color. That's why it looks so strange. Um, uh, probably the, the previous one. Yeah. I think I might change the hairstyle too. Um, but let's see. What eyebrows do we want? Oh, I like those. I can have a unibrow. Okay. Well, let's presets. I don't want those. Screw presets. Haircut. That's what I want. Uh, short ish hair. Short ish hair. I don't know what it was about Ron in that movie, but his long hair did not make him very nice looking at all. Whoa. No, there's just just no. 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 Uh, that looks okay. Isn't there like some more shorter ones down here? What's this? I do like that. Oh, I do like that. That face doesn't match the hair though. Oh, that kind of looks better. Oh god. <laughs> Turn up the nerdness to 10. Uh, okay. Oh, voice. You can change your voice. Uh, eye color. I think. I'm gonna do pink eyes. I'm gonna do red eyes. Uh, okay. Oh, god. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong thing. I'm gonna click the arrows here. Uh, brownish eyes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Voice tone, pitch, voice. Oh, voice one. That was quite something. I am in a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Why does that sound grady? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Oh my god, you sound like a robot. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. No, Nothing don't. To be... It was wonderful. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. Okay. That's fine. Normal. Name your character. First name. Oh, boy. This is where I get hung up all the time in character creation. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Stanley. No. Hmm. Adam. Adam Caresworth. Witch or wizard? The, this choice will determine your player character's dormitory. Ah. I shall be a wizard. Alright, let's get this let's get this trainer rolling. No pun intended. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Oh. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, 
I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. Mm. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> no. It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Dun, dun, dun. You think it's pulled by magic? weird. Oh, here we go. I'll have to turn the game down just a little bit. was going to say is that it is not pulled by magic well this carriage specifically might be pulled by magic but and who is your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I. Of course, Nor have I. as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably <laughs> intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Goblin I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. Hmm. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. Mm. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Nor do I. Beard. How did you wait? We do. Oh, goodbye. That's actually a pretty badass in my life. Yep, haha, because he has seen death. The 
So those creatures that, if anybody's confused, the creatures that were pulling the carriage um, are invisible to anybody until uh, they've like You're seen hurt. death, basically. Perhaps a bit. And then uh, take this. They can see it's it. It's Weld potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wigan Weld. <gasps> I got four of them. Okay, but well, what is it? To, oh, down. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... Look. What the hell got into that damn thing? He was killed Attacking by a dragon. A mid air A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, so first off, um, let me get to some settings here. Uh, windowed, full screen, yep. Portal is windowed. Uh, I want sound. And we're going to go... Not quite that sh that low. I think an 80 would be good. 79, 80. Okay. Oh, oh I'm so excited! Okay. Um, looking around. Probably nothing in the cave, right? We have to just leave the cave. Far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. Hmm. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if let we me, can find a path. Let me finish talking however first. However faded it may be. And you don't have to keep yelling. I'm standing right next to you. Okay. Um, mind your step. Mind your step. Oh. I don't know what it is about the gamer in me right now, but I'm just like, can I jump off the edge? Can I fall off the edge? Can I, can I, let's find out. Okay, no, it won't let me. It won't Where let you me. Suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Okay. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic Sounds wielded by a rare few like Harry Potter. seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. True. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence I broke it. of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand Repero. why such powerful magic disappeared from the no. wizarding world. Nothing. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really <laughs> matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. Mm. 
It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. You don't have to keep Let's yelling. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. I'm literally Focus standing right next center. to you. Focus on the center. Okay, uh, Z, R. Is this one? This one? No, this one? Z, R. What the hell is Z? Oh, right. Right. I was hitting left. Um, use your camera to select an active target. Yeah, some players prefer select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Okie dokie. Why am I going faster than you? That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. I mean, I did kick you in the head. Oh, hey! Hey, 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 hey! How's uh, how's it going there, buddy? Your one works improving Ooh, I see. It's kind of. Ooh. Thank you, sir. Waha! Nice. <laughs> Didn't expect that one, did you? Take that bird. Ah, up there. Ah, up there. <laughs> We're close now. It's just ahead. Ooh, it's so windy. Yourself. Take this wind. No, I can't use Repero. any. I just tried to cast that spell. I literally just tried to do that. To the vase, very first vase I broke, but apparently Almost we're here there. to just break vases. Or bosses. Yeah. Oh, ooh, you can target things really far away. Ooh, I like the auto targeting. That's pretty nifty. Dance for me, fool. Dance. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Why are you yelling? That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Bunch of broken vases are kind of out of place. Your minimap shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold to target the quest objectives. Quest obje objective details. Professor Fig and I have traveled to Porky to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysteri mysterious ruins that we suspect Porky was meant to lead us to. Very well, very well, very well. Uh, so that means I need to go this way? Aha! Invest. Professor. This statue. This may have been his home. Why are you still yelling? And why does my character not matching the voice volume? Take that wall. Ooh, look at that flare. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Fusrota! Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? Room? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. 
Like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? What did I just get? Wake Connery's the garden. Heart. Oh. Where are we? Wait, why did I don't he... believe it. Why did he get teleported? If I touched it. Uh I wish to see Hello? my vault. moment. Just a moment. <clears throat> when is Dr. Carabon here speaking? Just a moment. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Precisely. The key. White's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. <laughs> this way, then. Stay close. It's like an off branch of green guts. Because this definitely is not your normal green guts. After you. Yeah, put the kid on first. <coughs> inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Oh, Only private one with entrance. great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for oh, such a service. Know. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Why are you putting... Are you, like, stopping it with magic? I think you are. Is that what you're doing? Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> Momentous mm. day. On your way. Interesting. Interesting that the goblin is security. Usually it's... More human security, but nah. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed oh, at my desk for wand. hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. 
until today. Bolt 12, thank you for your help. I'll just stand here, it's fine. Oh, a chest? I don't know if I'm allowed to take that. I did just steal money for some from some random chest at Green Gods. Okay, thanks. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. Mm, there the... must be something here. There's something. Mm. Like a, like a shimmering perhaps. wall. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, I see, I see it. Oh, whoa. Okay. So, A. A. And steady your wand with L. Uh and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the path. Oh, I need to... I see. Revelio. There. I saw something. Yeah, I saw Move it before you used the spell. Try again. A door. Well, that's a start. <laughs> Move a bit closer. Again? Two steps so forward. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Revelio. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Ooh. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I just know a certain dark wizard that has done that before. Um, anyway. Are we summoning a Balrog? Or are we uh, about to get attacked by a bunch of goblins? Ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. You can just say, I see the glow again. Revelio. Oh no, I stepped inside. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That oh. statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. <laughs> it is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I got me a Lumos.
Uh, oh, that's not it. What? ZR. Hold ZR and tap Y. Oh. Lumos. Well done. Except that's now X. The reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, that is annoying. My X and Y is inverted. Huh. Um, can I change that? Can I fix that? Is that a Steam thing? Okay, we'll try to fix it later. Take that, ya... Lumos. Ya ninny. Oh, am I fighting Dark Souls boss? Several Dark Souls bosses. Look out! Then I just start. Protego. Then I just start using that not too long ago. Yes, we're in closer. Is to reveal the way forward. Uh oh. I have to block attacks. Okay. Take that. Big final baddie. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Oh, you're talking to yourself now? Lumos. That's so <clears throat> it was the it was the Y was the correct button for the shield. <clears throat> but whenever I hold the spell thing, uh, X and Y are inverted. I guess that's just something we're gonna have to deal with. Where am I supposed to go? Follow the magical lights. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Wisps of magic? I'm... Is it these wisps, wisps of magic instead of the? Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Of course. Yeah. The statues. Lumos. Oh, Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. I suppose Lumos. I'm on my own this time. Take that! Hold Y during Protego to stun enemies of stupefy. I did that once already without knowing what to do. And interact uh, indicated by gold numbers. I see, I see. I had my shield up. Oh, 
I'll stupefy the target I'm <laughs> Oh, I see how that I have a health bar. That kit. Drink. Thank you. Wish I had a dodge button. Oh, I get a little nice indication of when I'm being attacked. That's that's very handy. Oh no, it's gone dark again. Okay, so not in combat you heal. Which is handy. Although, I will say the health ball or health ball, health bar is a little small. Lumos. All right, whiffs, wisps of magic, lead me the way. Oh, hey, I got a sprint. This is important. <laughs> I guess my professor is just dead. Didn't I just start learning magic, like, a couple months ago? Lumos. Oh, boy. Okay. We're still in the bank. I can tell by the gold accents. Or oh, we're back in the bank, one of the two. Protego. That was spaghetti. Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive ah, for viewing memories. Of course. <laughs> and I have whose memory in I my wonder. hand? His wife's? <laughs> is it your wife's memory? Now stick your Follow head in. My lead. Stick your head in. Ground yourself. Bob for memories. All is in place. What the hell happened is one. He is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Mm. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. 
the magic that Miriam had always believed mm. existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Perhaps, George? He's not dead? You, it seems, are the key to understanding why. Perhaps. We were all rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Oh, no. I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving where you were anything. We? Well, we didn't really mm -hmm. find much. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Uh-oh, protective magic, naughty boy. Oh, Jesus. Well, that thing looks badass. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. At Hogwarts, because I just heard the theme song. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Who could have guessed? Beautiful. Ooh. Ravenclaw. <laughs> they didn't show up a lot. Uh. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. 
I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Thank you. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Uh, uh what is that? I've never heard you talk about the sorting ceremony before. to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. Mm. The sorting ceremony is over. There were mm. complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing rumors. whatever patience I had left. Left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this <sighs> evening. I'll be in touch. Ah, oh, I missed it. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. Ambition! A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. I just said Eagerness that. for power. Slytherin! Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. <laughs> Slytherin is my house. Yes, of course. You belong in Slytherin! Yeah, everybody's changing my clothes. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Enough! Because of one it's injury. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. Uh... I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Mm, of course. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. You could just say dismissed or leave or get out. 
quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. Mm. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. Stop flirting with me, In order to lady. enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Oh, he said that so frivolously. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Well, I think that is a good place to begin. Uh, we're going to end the first episode here. Um, I appreciate everybody who did end up watching. Um, if you would consider subscribing to the channel, that would help out quite a bit. Um, other than that, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.